Hey guys, Megan here, and today I'm going to be doing the New Year's book tag. Now, the original was done by Bookables a couple years ago, and it's funny, I actually wasn't tagged in this video, but I had just been thinking, I want to do a New Year's kind of video, like a tag video. That's what I want to do. Went on YouTube, my cousin Naomi had just come out with it. It's, uh, yeah, Na Naomi from Naomi's Bookshelf, and I was like, okay, this is providential. This is what I'm going to be doing for my video this week. It's already the middle of January but close enough. So let's jump right in. Question number one, how many books do you plan on reading in 2020? So I usually don't set a solid number. I like my Goodreads goal is one book because I don't want to put that pressure on myself. I just want to kind of read for fun and see what that number ends up being. So 2018, I read 80 books. 2019, I read 61 books. Now for 2020, I'm thinking maybe five books a month. So that makes it 60 again. Although I'm kind of thinking, it's middle of January, I haven't finished a book yet. Well, actually no, I did finish one book on uh, New Year's Day. It was the book that I was in the middle of. Um, so I'm kind of thinking, okay, 60 would be nice, five books a month, that would be nice, but I'm not gonna put that pressure on myself because reading is just for my enjoyment, it's a hobby. It's not like this is my job. Question two, name five books you didn't get to in 2019, but you want to make a priority this year. First of all, I'll show you His Majesty's Hope by Susan Elia McNeil. This is the next in the Maggie Hope Mysteries. I've read the first two, this is number three, and I have loved this series. Like, this has been such a fun series, and I would totally have just like, read through the whole series in one go, but um, I, my a hold that I had in Overdrive on the uh, Overdrive, the library app, um, my hold came through for the Maisie Dobbs series and I had been waiting for months for that. So I listened to it. I put this series down, listened to Maisie Dobbs, and then the next Maisie Dobbs book came through like a week later, which I was really shocked about. So I listened to that one and now the next Maisie Dobbs book is like, you know, three or four months away. So once I finish the books I'm currently reading for the Louise May 2020 read along little men then I will pick this one back up another book I didn't get to is uh, becoming mrs. Lewis this is a fiction book but it's like based on true life like on real events um, so mrs. Lewis is CS Lewis's wife joy Davidman before she married him that's what she was known as so I think this is kind of the story of their relationship their romance so it looks really sweet really fun so I'm looking forward to reading that one Next, we've got Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte. Now, I read The Tenant of Wildfell Hall for Victober, and I loved it. I've heard that if you like The Tenant of Wildfell Hall, you don't like Agnes Grey as much, and vice versa, but um, I am still very excited to read it. Uh, Bonnets at Dawn, this wonderful literary podcast uh, that I listen to um, faithfully, they are going to be having a read-along of Agnes Grey sometime in 2020, so I'm waiting to hear when that is, and then I will be reading Agnes Grey for that. And I'm really excited because I've never taken part in one of their read-alongs, so I'm really thrilled that I'm going to do that this year. This next book is one that I had on my nonfiction November TBR and I just did not get to, and that is The Life of Charlotte Bronte by Elizabeth Gaskell. This is a very controversial biography that Elizabeth Gaskell wrote about her dear friend Charlotte Bronte, very biased outlook on it, many people say, and some of the, you know, have, have helped to perpetuate myths about the Brontes, but still I'm really excited to read it, even just as, I think Lucy the Reader talked about how she read it, just kind of as like a fun novel or a fun story to read, a well-written one, and Elizabeth Gaskell is a brilliant writer, so I um, am looking forward to reading it just for that purpose as well. Um, so I might save this for nonfiction November again this year, but that seems so far away that I'll hopefully read it sooner than that. I did only have four, so I'm just gonna leave it there. I uh, only have 15 books left on my physical TBR, and I, w I would like to get them done as soon as possible. Um, I'm, I'm really, I love getting that number down to like a very, very small number. Question number three, what genre do you want to read more of in 2020? I want to read more classics as always. I always like to read lots and lots of classics. They're like my top priority. So I want to read, I want to finish reading the Brontes. I have four more to go. I also want to read a lot more nonfiction about famous people like Jane Austen, uh, especially John Mullen's book, What Matters in Jane Austen. I really want to read that one. And of course, I want to finish the Maggie Hope series and 
finish the Maisie Dobbs series, although I don't know if I'll get all all the books. Like, I mean, it's gonna take, if I, if I wait three months every time for a book, I'm not gonna finish the Maisie Dobbs series in 2020. But I also really am enjoying this way that I'm reading it, where it's like, you know, I wait that three months and I anticipate and then, oh, there it is, it pops up on my phone that it's available for me to listen to. And then I like whiz through it and then I mull over it and I think about it for three or four months before the next one pops up. Name three non-book related goals that you have for 2020. So one goal that I started actually at the beginning of December, every half hour of, of working out that I do, I put a dollar towards buying books. And I kind of stole this from Kaylee from Books for MKs, except she did yoga instead of, you know, cardio workouts or whatever. So I'll link one of her videos below. It has been really good at motivating me to get up and work out and I've really enjoyed doing it and I what I'm doing is I'm like writing little boxes on my calendar and then checking them off as I do the workouts and then I'm writing next to you know the that last workout I'll write I'll write next to it which books I bought with that money. So it's a really nice tangible way to motivate myself. Now I don't I'm not a huge goal setter. I mean I guess I can be but I only have one other goal for 2020 which is just to grow closer to God, um, follow him more closely, know him better, love him more, serve others better. That's really the only other goal I have which is the most important goal. Question number five, what's a book you've had forever that you still need to read? Now forever isn't that long for me. I've only had this book for uh, under a year, so that's not forever. Uh, but it is the book I've had the longest that I haven't read yet. So I mean, that's good, right? <laughs> that's exciting. Um, it's good for me, not that everyone else has to do that, obviously. I just like that for myself. So that book is The Storms of War by Kate Williams. Now this book is a, um, it was owned originally by my grandpa's girlfriend who then moved to a different home and she gave away a lot of her books. Now I still have not read this one. Does, have you, have any of you heard of this, like The Storms of War? Tell me if you've read this, what you thought of it. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, yeah, because I mean, obviously it's going to be about war. It's a host historical fiction. So it looks right up my alley, but, um, I am really excited to read this one. It just always seems to be the one that goes to the back burner. Question six, one word that you're hoping 2020 will be. Okay. These kind of challenges or questions are hard for me because they don't like to narrow it down to just one thing. Like this is kind of a thing that a lot of people do, like, especially in like Christian circles, like let's pick one word that I'm going to focus on this year, like faith or hope or something like that. And I'm always like, I don't know. I don't want to narrow it down to one thing. I just want to see how it goes. So, um, but one thing that is a constant in my life that I always can talk about that it's always part of my life no matter what I where I am what I'm doing whatever it's always there it's is actually God so that is what I am hoping 2020 will be just all about God for me um, and I know that might sound like hyper spiritual I don't know but that's that's where I'm at God I want God to be the most important thing to me I don't want to put anything else ahead of him so that is uh, what I'm hoping 2020 will be and what my main goal for 2020 is. Um, and now time to tag some people. I hadn't planned to tag anyone, so I'll, I just won't tag anyone. But if you want to do it, do it. Um, it's, it's a fun little tag. It's a quick little video to film. So anyways, um, that will be all from me. And yeah, um, may you all be filled with peace, hope, love, and joy. So take care, everyone. Bye.